claims for breaking it. That's the difference twenty five hundred right now. I'd say four point six eight seven because take a thousand and four thousand to go to zero. That's the reason you took twenty five hundred the last time you had the same choices when it was bid, and it was because your claims were so low that you could save about eight thousand then to go to a twenty five hundred dollar deductible from a zero deductible. Your claims are still good, so now they're saying if you want to go to zero, it's only going to cost you four thousand six hundred eighty seven dollars a year. I think the best buy is the thousand dollar deductible. You have to have four once, once, if you have more than four claims, three, 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 three claims, three claims. Yeah, but I think that's easier on her your budget, and it only costs fifteen hundred thirty-six dollars. How many claims do we have a year? That well, that was over that a couple years ago, you didn't have very many, and you had a zero deductible. So they gave you a deduct to take a twenty-five hundred dollar deductible, and it was, I think it was about eight thousand something. And I think you've had two or three claims. So that wasn't a bad switch off either. But these these rates are lower than they were two years ago. And it's because you got good claims. I think, I think you made that good this year. Yeah. I mean, you didn't make a bad decision two years ago. You saved 8000 some dollars and you had two, two claims. That's 5000 But it's really what risk do you want to take and what you got budget. This, this is last year. So, uh, 04 you had four GL claims. None of them higher than yeah. 476 so when, you, when you say three claims, all three of those claims have to be over $1,500. You know, so, uh, you've never had it in the past five years, you've never had a claim over a $4,100 one. 06. 05, 06. And there's one. Oh, here's a 28000 And that's probably why they, they charge you more money for zero deductible. But then this year, we've... Uh, well, I, I didn't average. You had in five years last year. It's not, so this is all bad if you had to do this year. But uh, what I presented is last year, you averaged uh, $4,856 per year in general liability claims. Deductible. No, no. no oh, claims. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I think you chose to, to save eight thousand dollars last year. Uh, now this year, if that's still about the same, it probably went down a little bit because you had a good year. But, uh, you know, to save well, your claims are below a thousand dollars, you can get a thousand dollar deductible and you pay. When the damn holes there, don't drive in it. Especially if it's been repaired. If it's repaired, it falls apart, and you repair it the next day. But they hit it in between. That's their responsibility for not being an attentive driver for the United Claim. Or if we take the deductible, the higher deductible, and we save that four thousand dollars, if we so choose, that gives us a little pool of money that we can go ahead and pay a couple of those small ones. And still save money on the long, on the yearly total. So which one you're saving, go Mark? I take up the thousand dollar or the twenty five hundred deductible because that gives you twenty five hundred dollars to pay four small claims of seven hundred dollars, and you're still even. And it's also frustrating for the people when they have the small claims. It causes a lot of grief. They don't understand it because you know the insurance company investigates and said. Well, the hole was repaired on Thursday. They checked it the following Thursday, and the following Friday it come apart, and you hit it Friday night, 
you know, they'll tell them you should have been paying attention to what you were doing and the city's not negligent, so pay the bill. And you know, the, the mayor or sense. myself, you sometimes feel obligated to go ahead and pay it anyhow. If we save that four thousand dollars, we've got that money to take care of that one or two claims over a year. I'm looking like you did Mark. last year we had thousand dollars. Oh yeah, twenty five hundred. Last year we had twenty five hundred. No, but year before last we had thousand. I actually had zero. Yeah. Okay. The year before we had zero. Yeah. But they still would have denied a couple of those. Even if we had zero deductions, yeah, still would have denied them. Yeah. 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 So we're claim. better off to keep the money and take care of the ones we feel are justified. On a pothole claim, the law, the case mm -hmm. law says that whoever hits that hole the first time needs to report it. And then from the time that they're reported to the proper people, which would probably be the street department or the board of works, whatever you call the people who work on the road, they have to fix it in a timely manner. If they don't fix it in a timely manner, we're responsible the, the, for the, insurance, the insurance company right. is going to decline the claim. They right. always right. deny the claim. The pepper, the first one who, who hits it, are they just yeah, not yeah, allowed to? Yeah, yeah, the allowed. second guy who hits it. It's actually, it's actually yeah, covered under yeah, their yeah, collision yeah. coverage on their car. It's not written But then they have the same deal their insurance. No, they'll, they'll pay it depending on their deductible. So if I got kids like me, my deductible is a thousand dollars. The first guy is out of luck. Second guy might get paid if you, if you guys can get right out of there. And, and it all depends what what is the reasonable time you know, what's going on. And I don't want to get a lot of stuff. So you know, support and then develop the side. But it's uh, you know, like you said last two weeks ago, Randy, by going with the two twenty five hundred dollar deductible, we saved ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. But now the pricing is down because the claims are down. So, I mean, I think the decision is to go with the thousand. We go with thousand dollar deductible, that costs hundred fifteen hundred thirty six dollars a year. Or you can deduct that and just go with the twenty five hundred. So it's kind of a gamble. How much you want to gamble? Felix. Steve, what do you think? Okay, then I'll entertain a motion to go with the, with the premiums presented with the addition reducing it from 2500 to to $1,000 uh, deductible for an additional $1,536 for the year. Second. More discussion? Yeah. Hearing none, roll we'll call vote, please, Jim. Linda? Yes. Steve? Yes. Carol? Yes. yes. Rodney? Yes. Karen? Yes. Thank you, Jim. I'm not sorry, you were talking about it. Yeah, we're going with the house and Then the other thing for 1536 extra. is whether you want terrorism. You did not have terrorism last year. So if you don't want terrorism, you have to have to sign that you don't want. Okay, let me make one comment about that before you make a decision. Um, the last My insurance company would tell me there's no terrorist here, so we're not going to pay. Okay, now it used to be foreign terrorism only, now it's domestic also. So if a domestic terrorist would do something, and it's all the government is the one that decides, it's a vandalism, you might say, hey, well, that's not terrorism. So the government would decide, and the Secretary of Treasury and the Secretary of State would get together and say, this is a terrorist act. So if it was deemed not to be a terrorist act, it would become a vandalism coverage. So the government says no, this wasn't a terrorist act, then we're still covered. We're covered. If they say it was, and if, 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 if even if domestic terrorism, see, before domestic terrorism was a whole separate thing before, it, it was covered regardless. Oklahoma okay. City was not, would not be covered now, before. No, now it wouldn't. It would not be covered now, but it was before. Now, because it was before, it was covered under regular policy. Right. But now you have to have terrorism for that. Have terrorism for that because it's. How much is that to terrorism insurance? It's, uh, 
Three hundred thirty-three dollars. Now, for the casualty and seven hundred sixty-eight dollars for the property. Okay. Now, if that's another thing, you don't have to take. You can be virtue the property only, and not the casualty. 